Hey guys, welcome. This video is going to be about treating redness and sensitive skin. I'll show you my skincare routine and I'll talk to you about some of the products I use. Most of the products I'm going to talk to you about today are going to be good for redness and sensitive skin. They are soothing and calming and cooling on the skin. This video is also partly sponsored by SkinStore.com. I'll also show you the products I got from them. SkinStore.com carries a lot of well-known brands on their websites. I have purchased a lot of products from them in the past and it is very exciting to be working with them for this video. I never had any issues when I ordered from them in the past. They have excellent shipping times as well and you can use my code Lakshmi to get 25% off on their website on some of the products I'm going to recommend today. If you have seen my other videos, you probably know that I have sensitive skin. I tend to get redness, irritation, especially around this area and tiny red bumps as well. My skin doesn't like active ingredients like vitamin C, AHA, BHA. Whenever I use these products, they tend to irritate and cause redness and tiny red bumps. And I also do not like to use too many products at the same time. I usually tend to have very minimal kind of skincare. I don't do 10 step Korean skincare routine that does not work for me. And it might not work for you either if you have sensitive skin. Skin. So try not to overwhelm your skin, try to take away all the triggers that are causing sensitive skin and sometimes the tiny red bumps that are caused by sensitivity can resemble whiteheads or close comedones and you might tend to use AHA and BHA to try and calm them. But those ingredients sometimes might aggravate the problem. So if you do have sensitive skin and redness, I would totally recommend you to stop AHA, BHA and add other active ingredients for a moment until your skin comes back to normalcy. I switched to more soothing or calming, hydrating products and my skin has improved tremendously. The first product I'm going to talk to you about is a cleanser from Algenis. It's the Genius Ultimate Anti-Aging Melting Cleanser. This cleanser has like a unique texture to it. It starts off as a gel and then as it touches your skin it turns into an oil. It's great for makeup removing and that's what I use it for. I use it as a makeup remover at the end of the day as a part of my two-step cleansing routine where it works really well for that. It might leave an oily film if you use too much. I recommend using this as a makeup remover and then following it up with a gentle cleanser. This is a very hydrating cleanser. It's geared towards anti-aging. I get redness sometimes when my skin is really dry and some cleansers tend to dry off my skin but this does not do that. It has a lot of nourishing ingredients. It has alginous famous algoranic acid and a new nourishing oil, microalgae oil. It also has olive oil, avocado oil and a lot of nourishing skincare ingredients. And it is very luxurious to use and it has light bit of fragrance. It's actually soothing at the end of the day it relaxes me a little bit and it's not overpowering at all so i definitely recommend this cleanser if you're looking for a makeup remover and it also works for sensitive skin next one i have is also a cleanser but it's from juice beauty it's stem cellular two-in-one cleanser this is also geared toward anti-aging but it's a very gentle soothing cleanser it has grapeseed oil algae and aloe vera juice it's very conditioning it has like a silky texture to it. It does not make my skin dry at the end of the cleansing routine. A lot of cleansers tend to do that and I'm glad it doesn't. And this is also made with all natural ingredients with no harsh chemicals or sulfates and it has plant-based cleansers and it is also vegan. And it feels nice and silky on the skin as well. It lathers really well and I really like how my skin feels at the end of the cleansing routine. It does not feel dry at all and it's also always hydrated. 
Next, we'll move on to serums, and one of my favorite serums for redness is the Glow Recipe Avocado Recovery Serum. This really works for redness, and it helped me a lot, a lot of times, and I really like this. It has niacinamide, it has avocado butter, and five ceramides, along with a lot of other natural soothing ingredients. It's also hydrating. It's actually very lightweight, but also like hydrates my skin. It's not super duper moisturizing, but definitely hydrating. It does not dry out my skin. Sometimes niacinamide products do tend to dry out, but this does not do that. It has a very fresh scent. It also has rice milk in it, and the texture is kind of like a runny, milky texture. It feels really nice and silky on the skin. I really like the texture. It has no artificial fragrances. It's cruelty free, but it has like a refreshing scent. This, honestly, it feels cooling on the skin as soon as I apply it, I feel like refreshed. I also like the scent, it's not overpowering at all. I definitely recommend this if you have sensitive redness, give this one a try. The next serum I have is First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. You probably heard about this one. This is really good for sensitive skin. It has a gel consistency. It feels really lightweight on the skin, but also very hydrating and moisturizing. It has colloidal oatmeal, hyaluronic acid, panthenol, glycerin, soluble collagen, aloe juice and a lot of nourishing ingredients and I really recommend this one. In summers, this is going to be very cooling. It feels most of these products I'm talking to you about, as soon as I apply them, they feel they give me this cooling sensation. The cooling sensation itself relieves redness in a lot of cases because they restrict blood vessels and this really works for that. I totally recommend this serum as well. The next one I have is from First Aid Beauty again, the Facial Radiance Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. A lot of times when you have sensitive skin, a lot of products that are targeted towards acne and dark spots, they tend to be harsh on sensitive skin. That's why I'm talking to you about this serum because this is very gentle but also effective on dark spots. Sometimes when I get these tiny red bones because of sensitivity, they tend to leave a red, kind of a dark spot behind. They're not like acne spots, but there's like discoloration, mostly redness. And this really works for that as well. It doesn't aggravate my sensitive skin and it works really well. It has a milky texture to it. I do like a target application when I use this serum. I apply it only in the areas where I have high redness and dark spots and it's very effective. It reduces the size of the acne or close comedone before it becomes like a really big, deep pimple. That's why I recommend this if you have sensitive skin and want to get rid of some acne and dark spots, you will like this. And the main ingredient is nice and mild. It works really well for darkness and redness. So next we'll be moving to moisturizers and one of my holy grail lightweight moisturizer toner thing is Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. This is so good. If you have seen my other video about redness, I've talked about it and I've been using it ever since. I always repurchase it whenever I run out. This is so lightweight but it is so moisturizing. In India right now my skin is normal, it's not dry anymore so that's when I use this and this is all I use. It is really, really good if you have sensitive skin. It is also very soothing and softening. It's like a no frills, simple product when you're going through a tough time with your skin. Definitely give this one a try. It has white leaf tea water. It's very soothing. And the texture is almost like plant-based milk. It has a very soothing, milky texture to it and it feels really cooling on the skin as well. I definitely recommend this product. The next moisturizer I have, the very famous First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. We started using this like a few weeks ago and I was wondering why didn't I use this before. This is a great summer moisturizer and works really well for sensitive skin. It is really geared towards sensitive skin and irritation. 
it gives immediate relief and the cream also feels really nice on the skin it spreads easily and it has a very soft creamy texture it's not heavy it's not really light it's kind of in the nice medium and it gives like a soft satin touch to it it's not overly dewy or overly matte either so this is perfect for summers it has colloidal oatmeal, it has shea butter and other nourishing ingredients. I totally recommend this if you have redness and sensitive skin. That's why you use it. It is fragrance free and alcohol free as well. So this works for sensitive skin. The next moisturizer I have is from Wiki or Wiki Laboratories Equalia Thermal rich cream i have been using this moisturizer for a long time now this is much richer than the ultra repair cream from first aid beauty and this one gives like more of a dewy texture i tend to use this at night and in the morning my face still feels moisturized and never feels dry when i'm using this as soon as i apply it my redness is always all gone when i use this moisturizer most of these products my redness is usually gone fully when I'm done with my skincare and this is also a great moisturizer if you have very dry skin. If you have normal combination skin this might feel a little too rich for you but I really like it. Actually the texture wise I like this one over the First Aid Beauty Cream. It has a velvety soft nice texture and it gives you like a dewy finish and your face is like glowing at the end of the night so i definitely recommend this if you have sensitive skin and it really works it does have a light fragrance but it's not overpowering at all and some of these products do have fragrance like i mentioned when i talked to you about them but they never irritated my skin because of that reason and they're not overpowering at all and they're also usually at the end of the ingredient list so it's usually a small percentage but if you really think fragrance is not going to work for you i totally understand and i totally get you do whatever works for your skin so the first aid beauty products and the two cleansers i mentioned today are available on skinstore.com you can use my code Lakshmi and get 25% off on these products on their website I'll mention all the links in the description down below if you are interested if you have sensitive skin definitely give these products a try and I also want to let you know that I don't use all of those serums in the same day or same time just pick one serum that works for you that might suit your skin or your lifestyle and just go with one serum sometimes i don't even use a serum i just wash my face and just moisturize it directly you don't need to use a serum always you don't need to use a toner all the time but don't skip on moisturizer you obviously need a cleanser so do whatever it works best for you but try not to overwhelm your skin when it is going through a tough time let it do its thing i hope these products really help you because i know sensitive skin can be a pain and i totally understand because i go through it every day and i hope some of these products help you even if you don't buy them i hope they give you a perspective and help you in your research if you're doing a research so if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have any questions about any of these products or if you have any favorite products that you use please let me know in the comments and i'll see you soon in my next video